How'd you sum up that one? Pretty, pretty crazy game. Yeah. Uh, look, it was uh, entertaining for the neutral, that's for sure. There's, uh, you know, three all, but there was a lot of chances at both ends. It was, you know, we felt that um, they're a good side and they, they can open up teams. Even when, you know, they lose games, they, they're creating a lot of chances. Um, so they're, they're hard to defend against because of the way they shift the ball and the players they have, you know, the quality they have. Uh, but we created some really, really big chances as well, and um, you know that's a disappointing thing that we went three-one up and conceded just after that, and that gave them another lift. You know, we, if we held out a little bit longer, you know, we probably would have won the game. But when it went back to three-three, well, then we had the, the upper hand again. So it was a funny game. There was, uh, yeah, some really good football played from both sides, and very entertaining. That's for sure. The, the first and second goals you scored were, you know bombing down that flank, exploiting them in behind. Did you, I mean, the Wanderers game a couple of weeks ago, is that something you looked at and saw where they were kind of vulnerable as a side? Yeah, we, we look at you know a lot of games and uh, analyse a lot of games and analyse the strengths of the opposition and, and sometimes where you can actually hurt them. And, you know, we felt that we could hurt them, especially if we play the ball forward quickly because um, they put a lot of, they get a lot of numbers forward. That's why they're so dangerous when they've got the ball. So as soon as you outplay that, then, you know, you can get down the other end pretty quick. And, uh, and we did that. We did that well. And we created a number one, uh, number of one on one. So you know, probably, it, it's funny you say this, but the, you know, the two best on ground were the two keepers. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's incredible that that can happen. So um, it keeps us alive. I know we, you know it feels like a loss because we're three one up, but it keeps us alive. We're only still two points from Sydney. You know, a lot of games there for you know that a uh, lot of points to still pick up. So. We're there, um, and we're pushing, and we're we're playing a lot better than what we did at the beginning of the season. I don't think it's an easy one, though. Is it? I think you've got to play the Mariners. We're like we're better teams. without. We're better when we play against better teams. <laughs> That's how I feel anyway, and the players feel. I don't know what it is. We we seem to lift. The players seem to lift. You know, um, you know, we're looking forward to the challenge, and we'll give our best, and uh, hopefully we get enough points to to take us to the finals. Look, I, I didn't really see it again. I was close because I was right there. Um, Top of Stanley's been sent off twice this year for a lot less than that. But uh, look, you know, that it's, I'm not saying that it was or it wasn't. I'm just saying that, you know, I thought it was pretty dangerous. And Dylan came off pretty soon after that. Is he all right? Um, he had a pretty bad gash on his leg, but uh, he should be fine. Part of that, looking at Sydney's defence and, and that, you know, quick countering, especially down that right flank. Is that, is that why Dylan started? I mean, I thought he was pretty exceptional as well. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, Dylan started as well because he's been training really well the last couple of weeks. He looked he looked good, looked really good. So when Dylan's training like that, you know that he can perform like that. And uh, that's the reason why Dylan started. And, you know, we, we had Noah Bottich that went away with the under-23s. So he only got back late Wednesday night. And we just felt that this was, uh, you know, opportunity to, to give Dylan that start. And he did really well. You know, he was involved in a lot of our dangerous attacks. You know, unfortunate not to score. I was involved in the, the goal. So, you know, he, he was good. The, the, the front four all looked dangerous when they went forward, to be honest. And Connor really seemed to run the show at times. I mean, obviously, a goal and an assist in those first half an hour. What kind of, you know, how have you been working on kind of changing his game to get him more involved in that? that yeah, um, Connor wants to be in position to score more goals, and uh, he's getting there. And, uh, you know, he's, his final ball's getting better. So he's, uh, you know, he's able to set up a lot more chances now. And, um you know, with his assists and, and, you know, Connor's hard to pick up because Connor can drift out wide and he's very good 1v1 and then he comes inside into those areas where the midfielders, you know, find it hard for him to to pick up and and also, you know, Ryan Grant can't really get attracted too far inside because then, you know, we've got Alex that's on shoulders. So, you know, those things there do help Connor. Um, and, yeah, he created uh, some good openings and did well again tonight.